What's up, everybody? Back in with another episode of The Sims 4, man. Sunny Daniel and the Sims. Bad things. There's a lot of bad things that they wish and 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 they
YouTube that's strictly exclusive, you gotta go over to the Patreon account, man. It's only $2.99 a month. That's 10 cents a day. That's damn near free. And I got a Discord now, man. Shout out to my homie Freedom. He set up a Discord for me so we can go over there. We can post memes. We can post girls. We can post all kind of stuff. Let's get back into the video. Let's make, because I need some more dude characters that actually look like something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I could play with the genetics and make her a brother. Now, this is supposed to be her brother. Like, what the f is that? Maybe there's a setting where they don't generate things randomly with custom content. Maybe there's a setting that I don't see. Damn, this sounds good. Hey, this clean, though. Man, I wouldn't mind having this kind of music in the background if it's not copyrighted. Well, they kind of ruined it. That chorus was good. Y'all, I don't know if it's just me, but like sometimes there'll be music and it'll be a whole vibe and then they'll start rapping and it's just like, stop, just stop. You ruined the song. You custom content. I probably shouldn't have clicked that. This is going to crash my whole ass computer. What the f*** did I just do? Okay, so it definitely crashed <laughs> the game. Um, and yeah, it crashed the game. So it's cool. What I was trying to say is that the game sucks at generating things from custom content. I understand that it's hard for them to do that, though. And see, I'm not really trying to sit here all day and do this because they're, they're, they're really off with this. You know what I mean? Let's just do it. Let's just do it, man. Take off hair, take off facial hair. All right, we're gonna make this dude over, man. Already, I could tell this dude is gonna turn out cool. I don't know if I'm gonna give him glasses and stuff yet. Maybe I'll put him in bird box. Uh, I don't know where that came from, but it was in there yesterday. I think it must have came in one of them Wicked Whims mods or something. I gotta sneak. <laughs> <laughs> my goal is to make the craziest sneezes on youtube see i don't really like the way those look man they look kind of bad to me i'm giving better lips too you need a wider nose you know what's funny to me that i realized why are all these little tiny petite noses supposed to be the, the best noses i don't understand that i think people are getting caught up in the sauce instead of being the sauce i ran across this girl i ain't even gonna mention her name because why what's the point she got this little like whoville nose bruh it looks so bad everybody look good with what they got i mean some people yeah you need to get it whatever but if you got a clean nose why are you fucking with it why do you want a little tiny whoville nose man i don't get it man and then they have a dude and the dude sitting there like a fucking idiot like oh yeah you know i just let my girl do whatever man you know whatever make her feel good and I'm not saying you shouldn't support your girl or your girl shouldn't support you, but some things you need to be like, yo, you good. Like, leave it alone. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes as people, we get a little bit um, obsessed with stuff. Like, I know I do all the time. Like, I'd be, say, I don't now. But say, the only thing about me right now that I don't like is being fat. I don't like being fat. Being fat. So if I be like, man, I don't like how this fat look right here. Like this shit look bad. Like I don't like that. That look terrible. Your girl should be like, yo, you good though. You know what I'm saying? Just get the gym. You, you'll get rid of it. Support you in it. But if I'm like, yo, my nose, like I really want my nose to be like up more or something. It's like, man, leave your nose alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get used to it. Leave it alone. It's like them people with tanning. You know, sometimes they, um, they get so caught up in trying to be dark that they lose track of what they actually supposed to look like because they keep seeing in their head that they not dark enough. They're not dark enough. It's just annoying. And it seems like it's becoming common because dudes and girls aren't checking each other. I forgot my point in saying all of this, but my whole point is leave your noses alone. And I mean, if it looks bad, like some people need to get their nose fixed. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I completely understand it. You get yourself, you know what I'm saying? Get it, get it together. There's nothing wrong with that. But when something, so when nothing's wrong with you and then you just continually dwell on it, like something's wrong with you, that becomes a problem. And then you end up messing yourself up because of it, because you, you're like obsessed with it. 
and mostly when it's something cosmetic surgery wise like you you going under the knife man i just be seeing some of these influencers man i ain't even gonna name no names you know they forever going up underneath the knife you know it's, it's like glorifying it almost and it's always the same situation they have a boyfriend and this fool sitting in the corner talking about i really i support my girl or whatever she do man. i sure do i really do and it's just like man come on man y'all ain't got no kind of backbone this girl needs you to have a backbone so she can feel good and she need to have backbone so you can feel good man that's the whole point like you're supposed to balance each other out that ain't gonna happen with me unless something really wrong with you and i'm like yeah <laughs> you probably should get that together because and then that has nothing to do with like being trying to control nobody and nothing like that because they'll try to say that too and it's like it, it has nothing to do with that though i want my uh girl to look out for me as much as i want to look out for her so if i'm tripping on something that's stupid i want her to tell me like yo you tripping like that's not that serious so far he ain't looking bad man i kind of want his eyes to be more like darker around his eyes without him having to wear like makeup so i don't know what y'all think about this dude so far man he coming out kind of clean i ain't gonna lie to you he coming out kind of clean i really need some chains bro i need some chains bad if you make sim stuff let me know i think that's cool and then for the wrist for the uh wrist yeah we go ahead and throw the watch on there we just give him that watch because it is what it is that chain i he gonna look like my dude but maybe we give him a roly this is just a roly i don't really even know what that is but it looks like a roly iced out roly whatever i mean that's cool that matches uh as far as glasses goes i guess those glasses work i ain't seeing no problem see i put every dude in these jeans i feel like every single dude in this game is in these jeans these just look so good see they, they taper in that's the thing about these they taper in at the bottom they fit perfectly so i'm gonna have to go with i would go with these but the problem with these is they glitching through the shirt all right let's just do that let's just do that this is her brother his name is cody he needs to be shorter though really sonny that short the girl he's gonna be messing with is gonna be short that means they'll be perfect for each other how you say that kiana anna kiana anna so she gonna be cool with her they kind of look like each other to be honest they both short little thick fine ass women so <laughs> they could be friends do a little gossiping damn they both so they just got that, th that look at that thigh ratio all right so that's enough talking let's go knock on the door oh look at the family see this day mama and daddy right here she fine she just came off the shop though and then cody is in here well cody about to get a surprise of his lifetime because he about to get woke up with the girl he been talking to online did you imagine that you sleep in your bedroom and all of a sudden the girl you've been talking to online just comes up in your bedroom that would be crazy i'd be like yo what man wake up bruh all right now say what's up to your girl man she right there this nigga just walked right past her did you not see her bruh like what's the problem so, so. damn he got a deep voice <laughs> dag, dag. Hey, that's kind of cool. Like, she just met the parents and all that. So, basically, yeah, that's what happened, man. This is a good, wholesome family meeting, man. Meeting the girl that he's been talking to online. No one is super awkward, but it, it does look good. So, she's just talking to the parents, getting to know them. All right, so he, she's talking to the family. Let's just speed that up and pretend they already didn't talk. And he's like, all right, let me go in the bedroom with you. She's like, let's go in the bedroom and talk, and the whole family come in here. I want to see how tall he is compared to her. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. Did the parents leave? Okay, this is cool. This is very realistic. So they met the parents, now they're just in the room kicking it. But little do the parents know, we got to go ahead and get a little bit a romance in so let's just throw a flirt in let's just throw a flirt in of course he's feeling it girl like just come over your crib in your bedroom come on bro so they just go kick it for a little while the parents out here getting freaky what are y'all doing you keep kissing that girl the father checking on him making sure he ain't doing nothing <laughs> this is very cool though man very realistic I like them as a couple already. Okay, now you should leave, bruh, because I'm trying to see what's up. Either that or I'm going to do it in front of you. 
So you better go ahead and get out of here. Oh, there's another bed over here. Why y'all got two beds in here? It got lit. It got lit, bro. It got lit on the Patreon. If y'all don't know, you got to go over there, two ninety nine a month, to complete the story of what happened. Because you got to catch it, bro. You got to catch what goes down. So clearly, and shout out to my man right here for having him a Jimmy with him. So she won't be pregnant. <laughs> Because I was worried about that, and then I saw it, I was like, okay, cool. He's he's smart. My man is smart. I don't know how he's smart. He just got created, but he's smart, man. So we're gonna do a little bit of flirting. What's hilarious is her is his dad was sleep right here the whole time. He didn't know none of that happened. But yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and make that that little situation kind of official. Okay, so they switch numbers. All these girls is fine. All these dudes is cool too, though, for real. Like, everybody look good. All right, so back at the crib, she just got that work. I might have to give her that work, and Wade might have to give her that work too. Or maybe me and Wade could give her that work at the same time. I don't know. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. Everybody ain't gotta be a hoe, sonny. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're also a big ass problem as well. So, Cameron and Kiara was supposed to be like, throwing a little romance out too um at the library that episode so will she feel a little flirt see now she act like she too good for cameron so i don't know if cameron and her will be a good match or not i'm not quite sure now it's mad awkward between the two though and then me and naomi you already know i'm not here it's too, too sad i'm gonna try to flirt and see if i can fail my dude is the only one that's in college Look at how sad my dude look. He look trifling, man. Pick your head up. If he messes this flirt up, it's really going to push him over the edge, though. Dang, she ain't take a shower yet. Let's try and flirt. See, that's why that's Bay. Even if I couldn't do it good, she still went with it. I thought she was going to make it awkward. Uh, We're going to just talk about that. Wade going to kick it. I kind of, I know, Ju where is Julia? I know Wade got Julia pregnant. Julia just be sleep half the time. You know what I might do, y'all? I might add more people to this house. More people, Sonny? Yeah, man. And the reason, the reason I say more people in the house, man, is because, first of all, I like when the house is crowded with people. I love that. It just gives me a vibe. I like it. Secondly, I really want to even everybody out so everybody is a couple or everybody is at least smashing or something. Because right now, Kiara has nobody. Cameron has nobody. Look at Cameron. Cameron's sad, man. Cameron up here reading the book because he's so lonely. You sitting up here reading the book and you got two fine honeys in here. I ain't got no man. Uh, we got Julia. She ain't got nobody. So yeah, Julia and her don't have nobody. Yeah, she took a shower and her hair is like mad curly now. That's kind of realistic. That was the reason why I did that to her hair. I wanted it to feel like she can straighten it or she can wear it natural. But you know, I just thought about it. I didn't really think of the ramifications. We have two children that are gonna be born in this house. Do you know how crazy that's about to be? Like me and Wade, that's why me and Wade about to be good friends. Because we both are going to have children in a college house. That doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? No, but you know, it is what it is, man. That's what you did. I ain't going to lie to you. If I was in the current situation, I might do the same thing. I kind of want to see what Wade can do with Kiara, too. Let's make a flirtatious joke with Kiara. You singing Christmas songs? Dang. <laughs> I mean, listen, bruh, something might have happened on the Patreon account. <laughs> I really wish I could just do this all in one video because honestly, this is fun for me. This is where I find joy. Uh, I'm not even going to mention it. If you didn't see it, you didn't see it. But these two right here are about to be my girlfriends. And I say girlfriends and it's kind of weird because she's pregnant with his child. But she also might be. Wade just got done smashing Kiara. Not quite sure what relationship they're going to be in because he got Julia Wright pregnant. So, and I don't know, he probably didn't win no protection with Kiara neither. 
So Kiera might be pregnant. So basically, me and Wade are populating the town. But listen, bro, it's fun though, man. I have fun with this. I know it's dumb though, cause I like usually do stuff traditionally. But like y'all don't like traditional situations. This isn't a traditional situation at all, and it's like probably the best thing in the world for me, cause I got two fly honeys. It might just be what it is, man. It might just be what it is. It's very irresponsible, and I do not condone this type of activity. But it's fun and it's lit and that's all that matters. But next episode, we're going to be focused on Cameron because Cameron is the only one that gets no love at all in this household. Lena got a dude. Wade got two girls. Julia got uh, a dude. Naomi got a dude. Julia got a dude and a kid. And Kiera got a dude. So Cameron, next episode, Cameron, man. We got to find Cameron a good one. We gotta find Cameron a good one. That's what we doing next episode. I love y'all. Peace. You know how he does. You know speed and flows. All I wanna do is hug you. Cause I like your steel. And I 